Hey everyone, it's Laura here and today I am part of the Pretty Pink Posh release block hop in honor of the new Pretty Pink Posh die cuts. So Pretty Pink Posh released two new die cut sets and I love them both very much. This one is the stitched film strip die cut and this is just so cute and very fun to create your own film strip. So as always there are the stitched edges which are just so adorable. And then you have the little frames to create your photo. To create your photo, I already made a card using this die cut set, and um, I'm going to show you. So the details are on my blog, and um, I just explained a little bit how I made this card. So as you can see, I used the new, the new stitched film uh, strip die cut, and then I also used the tag from the previous die cut set, which is Stitch Dual One. And I also created a very fun border using the Stitched Borders 1 die cut set from Pretty Pink Posh as well. So be sure to visit my blog for all the details uh, about this card. The second die cut set is called Stitch Duo 2 and as you can see there is a stitched frame and then also these circle windows. So these die cuts, the circles, match the tag from the Stitch Duo 1 uh, die cut set perfectly. So you can combine these two together. So now I'm going to make a card using the Stitch Duo 2 die cut. Okay, so first I'm going to die cut the stitched frame and I'm going to use um, a, a, a sheet of acetate for that. Also a piece of pattern paper. This is from the Lemonade Stand from Bow Bunny. And then I'm also going to die cut the frame out of some watercolor paper. So I die cut the frame three times, one time out of watercolor paper, then out of some acetate and also using the pattern paper. So now I'm going to use this frame die from the same die cut set and I am going to line it up. So I'm going to center the frame die. So I'm temporarily taping down the piece of watercolor paper onto a scrap piece of cardstock. And I'm going to use two distress inks. I'm going to use Salty Ocean and Tumbled Glass to create an ombre look. So I'm going to start by blending in the darkest color at the bottom of the paper. And then I'm going to let it fade out. So I'm using the mini ink blending tool from Tim Holtz. You could also use the regular um, ink blending tool or even like a makeup applicator. And now I'm going to add some of the tumbled glass distress ink. And this is a very um, soft blue, but when you add a couple of layers of it, um, it darkens a little bit, but not too much. bottle. Okay, so I really like how that turned out. However, I'm going to spray it once using my Ranger Mister bottle just so that the colors will kind of blend into each other. So just one spritz is enough and then you can also see like these little bubbles so it looks like an ocean which I just totally love. So now I just want some sparkle on this piece so I'm going to sprinkle some neutral ultra shimmer embossing powder from WOW on there. Um, I'm doing this right now because the ink is still wet so you don't have to use a Versamark ink pad or anything. Okay, so I put my piece, uh, my glittered piece into a shoe box and the reason I'm doing this is because the glitter will fly everywhere. Um, so now the glitter will just fly in the shoe box and on my desk. So I'm going to go ahead and heat set the piece of paper with my heat gun. So I completely heat set it and as you can see it looks super shiny. Then you also have the ombre look and I just think it looks absolutely fabulous. So now I'm going to do some stamping, stamping and I'm going to use the Seamade stamp set from the alleyway. I'm going to stamp my images on some Nina, uh, on some Simon's stamp, 120 pounds 
cardstock. This works great for Copic coloring or uh, Spectrum Noir coloring. I'm going to stamp my images using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. So I just stamped these images and now I'm going to do some quick uh, Spectrum Noir coloring. I'm not going to show this process in my video because it would be too long. Um, but I highly recommend checking out my previous videos when I color using the Spectrum Noir markers. So you can kind of check out my technique, uh, which isn't very fancy at all. Um, and I will also link to the markers that I used in my video description below. Okay, so now I'm going to fussy cut all the images. I'm going to adhere this window onto the piece of acetate using Tombow Mono Multi Glue. So I'm using a mask. Um, I also die cut the frame out of some regular white cardstock. And I'm doing that just so I can see where I need to position um, all the stamps and also my sentiments. I'm going to stamp a hay sentiment using the Bubble Talk stamp set from Winnie and Walter. I'm going to sprinkle that greeting using some black glint embossing powder from WOW. And it's a gorgeous um, black sparkly embossing powder. Great for sentiments. Okay, so I'm going to sprinkle that on. And now I'm going to heat set the greeting. So now I'm going to adhere them using the same glue. I adhered some sequins uh, on the underwater scene. These are all pre pink posh sequins. I used the 8mm sparkling clear, the 4mm sparkling clear, and then the 6 and the 4mm metallic silver sequins. So now I'm going to adhere the window and I'm going to use some dimensional adhesive for that, just using some foam squares. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the rest of the cards. And I am using the Stitch Borders 1 die cut set from Pretty Pink Posh. I'm going to use a scallop border and a white card, uh, A2 standard size card. So I'm going to lay my um, border on the piece of paper. Okay, and then I'm going to run that through my Big Shot machine just like this. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to do the same for this pattern paper. This is also from the same paper pad that I used before. Okay, so then I'm using my stamp runner to adhere the border piece. So I'm just going to line that up. Over here I have a piece of a white cardstock. And I'm going to um, adhere this onto the card in a minute. But first I'm going to adhere the underwater scene onto the piece of white cardstock. And I'm going to do that using some Tombow Mono Multi Glue. So now I'm going to do something that is very time, cons time consuming. I'm going to create borders using these flower sequins from Pre Pink Posh. And these were part of the summer embellishment kit. So I'm going to adhere um, borders of those flowers in rainbow order. So first a pink, then an orange, then a yellow, and then a blue. So I am not going to um, show you the whole process since this will take a very long time. But I'm just going to adhere the sequence using glossy accents. Okay, so I'm just going to pick. Okay, so I created the borders using the flower sequins, and all of a sudden I just don't like the yellow pattern paper at all. So I die cut another border using the same pattern paper and the same border die from Pre Pink Posh. So I already put some adhesive on there, and now I am going to adhere it onto the card. So it's a little bit of card surgery. I just finished off my card using some more pre-pink posh sequins and I will link them all in the video description below. 
So these are the two cards that I created using the new Pre-Pink Posh die cut release. Be sure to visit my blog for more details about this card and also for more details about the giveaway. So thank you so much for watching. All the supplies are linked in the video description below. I will be back very soon. Bye!